Good morning, good morning. I'm here with my bestie. We are driving to the hospital and it's kind of funny. I was doing pretty well until last night when reality hit and I started to have to get the list of pre-op to-dos out and I had wanted to get the laundry done and the house clean and make sure that everything was good so that I would come home to an environment that would bring me peace. And it was kind of amazing. I started to feel the jitters, feel the stress, and all of a sudden fear crept in. And I thought, okay, what strategy do I know that I could use in this moment? One of my favorite high performance strategies is having clarity about who you want to be. And so I thought, okay, I want to have confidence in God, in my team. My medical team is incredible. Even just this last weekend, I was investing in some training. I brought Gigi with me so that she could learn. And this woman who sat down at my table on day two happens to live out here in the country, happened to have had a full mastectomy, happened to had my same breast surgeon. So I've met two women who've been with this medical team before in just three weeks. And so that gives me great confidence. And she's a rock star. My oncologist, she's a rock star. I got a team of rock star women who are gonna be joining me today, so I have no reason to fear. There's every hard day I've made it through, and I think to myself, what if, what would I tell someone if I was coaching them through this? And I would tell them, you've made it through 100% of the hard days so far. You know what that makes you? Undefeated, baby. So undefeated players don't come onto the field ready to lose, right? They're also not just preparing not to lose, they're preparing to win. So I have to prepare my mind. So my three words when I was being, if I'm being honest, my three words last night when I reflected were really more afraid. Um, what were they? I had these in my head right before I clicked go. <laughs> afraid, let's see, it was fear anxiety. I was a little anxious of, will they get in there and discover something? Will they need to change plans? Will my body be strong enough to respond, right? So I had a little bit of anxiety and I was thinking not in an abundance mindset, but in a prevention mindset. And so I had to shift those to what words would I really want? Confidence, I'm confident that I've made it through all the hard days so far, so I'm gonna make it through today too. I'm confident that God is stirring the hearts of people around me in ways that are so magnificent. I woke up to three messages from people that I just admire. All rock star women, I'm surrounded by so much female energy, it's unbelievable. And, um, and then right at the go time to walk out the door, my mom sends me and Donna a message and I was like, okay, I'm in people's thoughts. God's got me. I used to think, how could God let this happen to me? And now I'm realizing things happen for you. You just have to pay attention. People are there, that's God. So I have confidence in God and my medical team. I can be courageous and strong in this moment. And the word that I thought of the most is optimistic because in the moments when fear really creeps in, it's easy to think, what if my body's not strong enough? What if, what if, what if? And I just start getting down a real bad spiral. So I thought to myself, not what if all those bad things happen. What if my body is so strong that I'm healed this afternoon? And you've got to detach to outcome. I don't know what this afternoon's gonna be, but I'm optimistic that my body's magnificent. It will, it will heal. And I've got support in my house. I've got a neighbor bringing my daughter to school. I have a great friend who I love spending time with who's gonna have a sleepover. So there's a lot to look forward to even amidst really hard journeys. So I hope that this story serves you in some way. Please like and subscribe. If you need some of these tools in your toolbox because you're facing hard times, I highly encourage you to go to drj.com. I built out the Life Design Lab to help people live and lead courageous lives where their dreams are coming coming true, even when obstacles are facing you, that's how you make amazing progress in your life. You don't give up when it gets hard. When it gets hard, high performers use that. Adversity is a gift. That's called performance necessity. So you elevate performance when it gets hard. With that, love you friends. Hope to see you soon. 
And I think we're gonna have a live this month on Warrior Wednesday, because I know I'm gonna need you. So mark your calendars, save some time Wednesday mornings, because I'm gonna need to come together. We'll probably do some at lunchtime, so 12 p.m. Mountain, and maybe some at 8 p.m. or 8 p.m., 8 a.m. Mountain. Love you, mwah!